Hello, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will tell you about in Heartland Season 17, Episode 8, after his ex acknowledged a bid for employment in Kalana, Caleb faces the chance of losing guardianship of his child, Carson. This problem compels him to pursue a hard decision that can prompt his split from Amy, which would very furious. The episode opened with a dazzling vaulting exhibit from Mother, Girl, Combo, Sophie, and Monica. Be that as it may, inevitably, Verona, the pony, unexpectedly adjusted speed, constraining Sophie, the vaulter, to leave the routine quickly. Amy's clients illuminated her that this had been happening for more than a month and that they critically required Amy to figure out why Verona was carrying on the grounds that they had a major rivalry in Europe the following week. Andy rushed to be aware of them to ensure they were all right. While recognizing that seven days isn't sufficient opportunity to completely examine the matter, Amy swore to make an honest effort, believing that Verona probably won't appreciate continually turning around and around. She started by broadly educating Verona in bouncing, shaft twisting, and thrusting. That wasn't true, however, since each time Emmy tossed something at him, the separation was sound in playing out its obligations, comparably required, which is the reason she started to imagine that this probably won't be such a great amount about Verona all things considered. So Amy asked Sophia to the farm without her mother so they could talk. However, Sophia shielded her mom, guaranteeing Amy that Monica just had Sophia's well-being as a top priority. At the point when Amy proposed that they endeavor Sophia's daily schedule all things being equal, with Amy lurching the pony, Sophia was reluctant to go along. At the point when Sophia at last consented to try it out, Amy saw something odd. In spite of Verona's steady speed poo, Sophia jumped off her routine again in the center of it. Yet again Sophia made sense of for Amy that she lost her equilibrium since Verona changed speed when Amy interrogated her regarding the reason why she had bailed. Notwithstanding, Amy knew that this wasn't true. Verona was immaculate, so clearly something different was going on. Amy pursued the choice to go to Maggie's and talk with Logan, who is currently a server there since she was confused for what to do, basically to ask as to in the event that she stage dealt with his renunciation in the wake of seeing how resolvedly Monaco was compelling Sophia. In any case, he additionally gave Amy an elective perspective on the thing may be occurring with her clients subsequent to consoling her that she didn't. In a video that Logan played for Amy, Sophia and her mom were rehearsing when Sophia tumbled off Verona. Amy promptly expected that Sophia would now be anxious about the possibility that that it would repeat. Be that as it may, Logan had an alternate thought. Maybe Sophia leaped off Verona while Amy was rushing at him to protect her mom, as opposed to the pony or the vaulter being the issue. Normally, this constrained Amy to have an extreme talk with her clients, however eventually, she had the option to get Monica and Sophia to speak the truth about their actual sentiments. Sophia had recognized that she leaped off Verona when Amy thrusted and that her justification for doing so wasn't only her anxiety toward getting harmed once more. At long last, Monica recognized that her presentation was enduring since she was just pondering Sophia falling again as she lurched Verona following her fall. However, things didn't exactly end the manner in which Amy had trusted. Following a delicate trait of feelings among Sophie and Monica in regards to the amount they esteemed their capacity to vault together, Monica pursued the choice to never again be Sophia's lunger, which creeps Sophia. Fortunately, Sophie and Monica had the option to fix things up and refocus with the help of Lindy, everything being equal. Lindy moved toward Sophia to tell her the amount she adored the stunts Sophie performed on Verona as she and Monica were pressing Veroma to leave Heartland. Sophia then advised the little kid to never abandon her own self-conviction. At the point when Monica heard Sophia notice how her main youth yearning had been to come out on top for a title in vaulting, she became stressed that Sophia probably won't have had that craving in any case and that Monica had forced it on her girl. Sophia consoled her mom, regardless, that it was and remains her fantasy. At the point when Monica in the end trusted in her girl, Sophia let her mom know that she had never felt constrained into anything and that assuming Sophia at any point got injured, it would be Monica's shortcoming since she accepted she had constrained her into vaulting. Consequently, Sophia recognized that her number one part of vaulting is the chance to take part with her mom. In the wake of hearing this, Amy encouraged the two to get vaulting together once again in light of the fact that clearly Sophia didn't need another lunger and that Monica simply had to loosen up a bit. Furthermore, an amazing miracle, the routine continued immaculately, reinforcing the mother-little-girl relationship and empowering them to seek after their shared objective. 
What's more, since Logan played had a critical impact in assisting Amy with sorting out some way to meet her clients. Toward the finish of the episode, Logan showed Amy his truck when he got to the farm, right in time for Amy to welcome him to come see Sophia and Monica's everyday practice, which caused Logan to inquire as to whether he could return and recognize that he was inappropriate to abandon horse preparing. Caleb's storyline this season was seemingly the hardest, in light of the fact that he was on the risk of losing his child while Amy was dealing with her vaulting clients. Heartland Season 17, Episode 8, opened with Caleb and Cass getting into an irate telephone contention, after which Caleb punched a wall. That was an indication of how terrible things were at that point. Furthermore, after his call, Caleb made sense of what was happening to Tim when he asked was off base. It appears to be that Cass, who needs to take Carson with her to English Columbia, is suing Caleb for full guardianship of Carson in the wake of finding a fabulous occupation in Kelowna. Furthermore, Caleb was having none of it. He was unable to envision seeing Carson simply every other end of the week and on certain occasions. Fortunately, Caleb had Tim to help him handle it. He had additionally experienced something almost identical with Miranda and Shane, so he was loaded with incredible counsel. Tim encouraged Caleb to take a stab at conversing with Cass in a quiet and non-forceful way since he knew that contentions and fury just outcome in more regrettable circumstances and can possibly irreparably hurt Caleb and Cassandra's relationship. Furthermore, Tim told Amy that Caleb was going through a few unimaginably troublesome times and that he presently required a steady mate, which Amy knew nothing about in light of the fact that apparently their relationship hasn't exactly gotten back to business as usual since Caleb kissed her in episode 6. In any case, Amy didn't allow it to hinder her from supporting her dearest companion. Also, when she went to converse with Caleb about what was happening, we found that it didn't make any difference that Caleb attempted to converse with Cass unobtrusively, as Tim had taught. Legal counselors were currently being involved on the two sides as Cass was unyielding about taking Carson with her, which implied that should the need emerge, Caleb was getting ready for a battle, potentially in court. Tim and Amy communicated their misgiving about including Carson in a lawful debate between his folks later on. Notwithstanding, Caleb was set on this. He was unable to bear the idea of losing Carson's guardianship and felt a sense of urgency to go against Cass. What's more, regardless of Tim's recommendation that Cass is ordering resentfully that she coincidentally landed an extraordinary situation in BC and that Caleb may as yet be a major part of Carson's life without going to court, Caleb saw no other choice than to go to court. While trying to acquire total authority of Carson, he even mentioned Amy to act as his personality reference. Nonetheless, subsequent to chatting with Carson and inquiring as to whether Carson to Hudson to live with him full-time and afterward took off angry, Caleb arrived at the understanding that in spite of his outrage at Cass for treating them along these lines, he should act in his child's well-being, which is to guarantee that Carson has both of his folks in his day-to-day -day existence. Caleb in this manner declared his transition to Kalana to Amy and Tim at the display opening festival. Tim, first of all, got a conciliatory sentiment from Caleb for unexpectedly stopping the rodeo school and leaving Tim without a task. In any case, Tim consoled Caleb that since he's going for his child, it's the appropriate thing to do. All in all nothing remained to be apologized for. Nonetheless, Caleb amazed Amy again when Tim left. He planned to pass on tomorrow to help with picking Carson's new school. Despite the fact that Amy was clearly astonished, she actually figured out how to let Caleb know that she would miss him before he passed on the party to apologize for destroying the temperament with his disrupting news. Amy pursued Caleb after their dreadful goodbye, and they had a legitimate one external the exhibition entrance. In the wake of getting each other a last embrace and saying, I love you, Caleb left, passing on Amy to watch him go. Does this suggest that Carrie James will be forever leaving the show? Since neither the program nor the cast have put out any conventional announcements, I don't know. Moreover, a few characters have been on the program at times throughout the long term, so there's a potential they may as yet do as such for however long there is yet alive, which Caleb is he recently moved. After Lou stammered her direction through a half-response about an opportunity to feature local craftsmen and expanded the travel industry to Hudson, Jessica accepts that the display will turn into a gathering point for various types of specialists due to the award they had the option to get. Besides, a cafe didn't exactly squeeze into that arrangement. 